Hey everyone, I'm Mola and today I'm going to show you my cafe in marshmallow style, so let's go! Hey guys, so I'm at level 26 now and I needed to get there to unlock the interior, I mean the marshmallow style in loft style and now we have all of it available. So now I can purchase everything up to marshmallow couch, which is really nice. I have also removed all the furniture from my cafe because I want to have more space for all my decorations and design. The only thing is that I have customers strolling around the cafe, but that's okay because I have put a table at the entrance and no more customers can get in. So actually Mary and Lucas are looking really funny here. Just Let's take a look at our style, because it's going to be very pinkish, probably a little bit old school style, and it would also fit to American retro, because it really reminds me of some old, old style. Just take a look at this flooring, it's like of solid wood, and also the wallpaper is also looking a little bit strange, but we'll see how it goes, because I think that all in all, the style should be really, really light. So let's purchase the wallpaper and also let's purchase the flooring. So this is how it started to look right now. And probably it looks really, really nice, but it definitely needs some windows. So let's take a look at the windows and they have this interesting system of opening and closing, which is very unusual here. And I want to place all of them just right here, one by one. I have never done it before, because actually I usually place them on the other side and now I really want to make an experiment, just like that. Now it's time for stands, guys. Actually, I don't really like how this wooden part, this wooden bottom part of the wallpaper looks, so I will probably cover it with stands fully, because I don't really want to see it anymore. So this is how our stands started to look when they covered all the wall, and you can't actually tell that it's a single tabletop, because it has gradients in colors, so you actually see that these are separate stands, but I think that's okay it's better than just the wallpaper. And I have to keep in mind that I need to install the fridges, because I've almost forgotten about them, and I will just leave some space, because I don't want to cover the window. So on this side we have placed all the syrups and all the drinks, and I bet we will need another row of stands right here, just in front of the window, to place our desserts. And also I have placed the spice box, tea container, and coffee grinder and uh, phone on this side. This is probably not the best place for the phone, because my staff will use it. So let's place another row of stands just in front of the windows. I will probably move the phone right here, because it is widely used by my staff. And I have also switched places of our equipment. All the desserts have fitted in here and all the drinks and syrups are here, which looks really wonderful. I really love it. As for the bar counter, let's place it just right here, almost in the middle of the cafe. So let's place around 8 bar counters, I guess they will all fit well here. I definitely need to sit my customers. No one wants to leave my cafe, they just want to wait, they want to stroll around. And now we are finally placing the bar stools. Just take a look at them, they look so fluffy. So our baristas has already started taking order, so we definitely need the topping shelves. So we have this topping shelves which don't really fit in here, because they are made of metal. And we don't want the metal ones, so I'll probably use the ones that are just simple. So I'll just put them in two rows and supplement them with an award shelf and with the TV. I've done it before in my previous videos about style and it worked really good. And let's place the toppings. So the topping shelves with the toppings look really nice. And now we have some space for the menu and I really want to see how it will look on this wall. Because it's very light and the menu is quite massive. Yeah, take a look. It really reminds me of American Retro or something like this. So this is our menu, which looks really nice. Now it's high time for tables, for couches and for service tables, so let's place them. 
So this is where our service table. Now we need to place the tables. So this is our couch. I really like it. It's very light and I just want to place it right here because I want to make some nice decorations in front of it and I will also need some tables for two and some tables for four and now it started to look okay everyone has a seat and this is how a table for four looks and this is how you can sit at the table for two I have a combination of two tables for four and two tables for two and also a marshmallow couch and all in all it looks all right but I really think that this cafe lacks something decorations are very important here because there is a wide range of decorations here starting from different sconces, floor lamps, vases of flowers and marshmallow decoration that I want to install right now and to take a look how it will really fit in the cafe and yes this is the very place for it it turned out that I only can fit four decorations on this wall which actually looks good it's a kind of a symmetry because we have eight bar counters we have two tables for four and two tables for two we have a couch so we will probably fit another decoration somewhere here we have probably forgotten about the ice creams I think the ice cream will fit in here it looks pretty good here and I also want to take a look how centerpieces will fit in here so as you see marshmallow style is very pinkish it's very sweet but it also has a lot of green in it a lot of plants so we will take use of all of that now let's place the vases of flowers you can place up to 10 of them but I just want to make like four of them in this corner because I want to make a little accent in this corner they will be a little bit scattered and we also have this floor lamps let's make the cafe a little bit cozier mm, just take a look at that it looks really very interesting right now I also have a couple of sconces I don't think that I will place them anywhere I just want to show them to you no I don't think we will actually stay with those sconces because they look really awkward here I don't really think that we should place them but you can try that in your cafe if you want I actually think that this is it that my cafe is fully furnished and decorated in marshmallow style we don't have anything left I guess I have taken everything I could out of this style yes I did this is how much I spent on my cafe in marshmallow style and now let's ask Fernando about the tips and he says that loft style gives me 126 point 56 person tips at least this style is very beautiful guys well and thank you so much for playing with me i hope you have enjoyed this video if you did then please put a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and let's play together don't forget to click the bell to get all the news about the game from my video i also want to reward five best comments under my previous video about update 2017.10.2 and the list of the winners is right here thank you very much guys you are going to get your pink gifts pretty soon if you also want a pink gift please write a comment below this video and include some good original ideas about the game or about my videos don't forget to add your player id this is a combination of numbers in the bottom left corner of your game settings and i will announce the winners next friday in my video Till then, see you next time! Bye-bye!